Hey guys, it's me, Jace HDIY, and I'm super excited I get to hang out with you guys today. We are going to be testing out some really cool new no glue slime recipe that you guys have never seen before, so make sure to stick around till the very end of this video. Notification squad shoutouts today go to Abby's Vlogs, Liliana S, as well as Miss Ponytails. So if you guys would like a shout out as well, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on notifications, and watch the video till the end. So body, hair, and face wash, and it has to be the combo of all of them. So this is the only one I could find that had all all of those and you guys said it's made a really nice jiggly slime so we will see what this is we're just going to add in probably about that much of the soap and as you guys can see the soap is really thick and thick soaps definitely tend to work really well here i have some white cane sugar and we are going to add this in as our activator and we're just going to mix it up a little bit don't be alarmed you guys if the color is kind of not as clear as before because it will clear up in a little bit. I think we have it pretty well mixed and I'm just going to clean up my little surface. All you have to do is just let this sit for about two hours. This is what it looks like, you guys, after letting it sit. As you guys can see, some of the air bubbles pop, but we will see how the texture is. So it definitely has kind of a jiggly texture just because the soap was kind of jiggly, but this one worked pretty well, although it's kind of sticky. As you guys can see. This recipe I saw one of you guys comment on my Instagram post. You will be needing some foaming hand soap. You will also be needing some salt for this. This recipe said that you're going to be needing about five pumps of the foaming hand soap. So I'm just going to add in that much. And then what you need to do is add shaving cream. We had no specific amount of shaving cream, so I'm not sure how much to add in. I guess I'll just add in. I think that might be enough. Now I'm just going to mix these two together before we do anything else. Kind of looks like meringue if you guys have ever made like macaroons or something that you needed to beat the egg whites for. I think we will add a little bit of food coloring just for fun so that it's colorful. We're going to use some pink food coloring for this. Some of that pink food coloring so that we can have a nice colored slime. Let's add in a little bit more. And I'm actually using a broken fork to add this in because I didn't want to get out another like spoon or something because this broke earlier yesterday because my cousins were over and we were making slime and some of the spoons broke. But yeah, I think this is about the right color that I like for this one. Now we are going to add in our activator, which is its salt, the recipe said. So again, it didn't have any specific instruction for how much to add in, but I just added in a sprinkle and we will just mix this up. I think I have officially decided that this recipe is a fail because nothing has happened. It has made this thick kind of, I guess, frosting texture, I would say. And I think the reason I thought it was thickening up was because it was deflating and making a little bit thicker of a texture. But this recipe I did something wrong with or doesn't actually work. So sadly, this recipe was a fail, but I'm going to test out another recipe right now. Next recipe is a one ingredient slime recipe. I used this in a video where I made a, I guess, I think it was kind of like a icy slime with. And you guys said this would work really well as a one ingredient slime recipe. So we are going to test this out. I have a bowl right here and we are going to just simply add in as much of this as you want. And we will put this in the refrigerator. So I think that is enough. And as you guys can see, the texture is really thick and it smells really good and I like the color. So if this works, I'll be super happy. I'm just gonna go pop this in the refrigerator. I think we'll put it in for maybe an hour or so and I'll test some other recipes while that is in there. So let's go put this in. So this is what it looks like, you guys. It had been in the refrigerator, I'd say almost for an hour. So it did have a good amount of time in there. As you guys can see, it kind of even froze on the sides of the bowl. But we're just going to mix this. I think. Oh gosh, it's really, really cold. I think this is thickening up because it was in a refrigerator, but I don't know, you guys. This doesn't seem like slime. Although this is literally so cold. I don't know. This is so cold, you guys. This, I think, was sadly a fail, and it's probably just because it was a one ingredient slime. I guess you can't really expect that much from one ingredient slime. We're gonna be testing out some marshmallow fluffy slime. So for this, you are going to be needing a handful of marshmallows, and you will be needing some shaving cream. 
You need to go melt these, so I'm going to go melt these in the mm -hmm. microwave. marshmallows and they expanded from the microwave. But now all I have to do is add in some shaving cream. So I am going to add in probably about that much shaving cream. I think that is enough. And we are going to add some food coloring. So for this, I'm going to make it orange because I haven't used orange very much on this channel. I'm just going to add in some orange food coloring and mix in the marshmallows and it should make fluffy slime, but we will see. This literally kind of looks like when you're making fluffy slime, so that's kind of interesting, but it definitely isn't like, I guess, solid enough to touch. So we might have to either add activator or put this in the refrigerator, and I don't really know what activator you could add to this to activate the shaving cream, so I think we're just going to have to add this to the freezer for a few minutes, so let's go put this in the freezer. There for probably, I'd say, 45 minutes, so a good amount of time, and it's definitely cold, but it didn't really make shaving cream as you, not shaving cream, <laughs> fluffy slime as you guys can tell. So I think this recipe was a fail, although I feel like we could try this out doing some other steps next time, maybe adding in some soap or something so that we are able to activate this, but it was kind of a fun experiment, so comment down below if you guys would like to see me test this out differently next time. For this next recipe, you are going to be needing some Dawn dish soap, and I'm not really sure what to expect for this one because it seems like Dawn dish soap slimes never really end up working out. So we're going to add a little bit into our bowl, and then we are going to activate this. A lot of you guys had requested that I try to activate some sort of a dish soap or any soap with basically like a borax activator, but instead of adding borax to the the water you add salt and a lot of salt and baking soda so we are going to test this out and see if it does anything i'm not really sure what to expect especially because for some reason the dawn dish soap doesn't tend to work very well a bowl of water right here and you need to add a ton and when i say a ton i mean like a ton of salt to this like you need salt water like that is really really strong so that it will activate the dish soap and as you guys can see this salt water is almost white. That's how much salt I am adding into it. Because the more salt you add, the better it will activate. So I'm going to add in probably about that much. I think that might be enough. And then we're just going to add in a little bit to here. And I'm not sure if this will do much, but we will see. So I'm just going to mix this up into the Dawn dish soap. I think it's kind of activating, but I'm not sure really. If you guys can see that, I don't know, you guys. We're gonna add in a little bit more because it's definitely not activated yet completely, if it is activated at all. So I think that is enough. And we're going to take this out, I think. We'll see. Okay, so as you guys can see, it does kind of have a solid texture, but it is really, really sticky. And this recipe I actually found out with my cousins yesterday, because yesterday was Thanksgiving and they were over at my house. So that was actually really fun. But anyways, tell me you guys if you think this recipe worked, because I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep like maybe dunking it in the salt water and see if that does anything. I feel like it's just kind of making it really soapy because there's water and soap don't usually mix very well. This is the final result of the slime, and as you guys can see, it is really, really sticky, but I would have to say this recipe was a success. So that is it for- <laughs>